I have nine siblings. You have three sisters and your dad played hoops in the NBA. What was playing sports growing up in your household like? I would say competitive. Um, we had like a hoop outside or whatever, so we'd play one-on-one -on -one all the time. It always ended up in a fight, so. Who was winning one-on-one? -on -one? Me, that was, that was so silly. Sports growing up in my household, every single person basically played a different sport. We got basketball, football, lacrosse, hockey, baseball, so it wasn't, we didn't get bored after, you know, we didn't get bored with the same sport. It was a lot of fun. Everyone was competitive. And I think we all like helped each other play each other's sports. So it was a lot of fun. Very supportive too. On the court, what makes you go, ooh? Ooh? Like, like an exciting ooh. An exciting ooh? Yeah. I think when somebody gets an N1, That's our and we go, everybody goes crazy and chest bumps each other. Okay, sticking with your family, who's the best athlete in your family? I would say we were all good athletes. I would honestly, I would say my mom, like when she was active, like when she could be active, I'd say my mom because she like played like ten different sports. Who played the most sports in your family? Out of like the girls? Yeah. Or was it just basketball? It, no, it was all of us. Like we, my mom threw us in every sport possible. <laughs> she tried to get us in ten tennis. Did you play tennis? <sighs> I wasn't good enough. Let me tell you something. Stick to basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Toughest shooter in the Big Ten to guard and why? Whew. I'm going to have to go with my teammate, Brene Alexander. That girl is lethal. She touched the ball, it's going in. <laughs> and she just told us her little trick when she goes in the bathroom. <laughs> she goes in the bathroom before games and goes, the three's going in, the three's going in. So I thought that was pretty funny. OK, um, what part of your game went to another level this off season? Um. I would say attacking, just trying to figure out like different finishes going off two feet more. I feel like it's going to be more, more important for me this year. Um, how did you achieve that? Mm, just workouts, honestly. Like me and the coaches would come in in the off season. Toughest venue to play at in the Big Ten and why? I'm going to say personally, I think the toughest venue to play in is Iowa. Their fans go crazy. There's a lot of them. They're very loud. So it's, it's a very hyped up environment. So it's just loud. And that one I would say either Iowa or Indiana, Indiana. because Indiana's fans are just like right on top yeah. of you. So. Right, it's like, a, it's like a high school gym. It feels like that. <laughs> on steroids. And you can't hear anything. <laughs> okay, who has a better jumper, you or me? I plead the fifth. But... You plead the fifth? I'm gonna say me. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I gotta be confident with that answer. Be confident. Do you? NBA or WNBA, WNBA player you'd most like to play in a game of pickup basketball with? Who? I'm gonna say Alyssa Thomas. She used to come into our practices sometimes. She is intense. She is. Who? That girl wants to do win. She will. She wants to win and will do anything to win. I would say Stewie. Why? I feel like that'd be tough. Or Diamond again. Diamond Miller. Yeah. Gotta love Diamond. <laughs> okay, um, what area do you wanna see our team improve on this year? I feel like defensively, I feel like just being a little bit more cohesive. I think that's really it. I think for me, it's important um, for us to kind of focus on details this year, especially um, last year we made it to Elite Eight, and this year we're trying to go further, and I think the little details really impact that and will help us take us to the next level. What's your go-to one-on-one move? I'm giving out secrets. No, I'm just kidding. It's a, just a hezzy. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine, if I was playing you, I would just back you down in the house because <laughs> you can't guard me. I can guard you. <laughs> Don't play. Yeah. Okay, go. Best WMA player of all time. Oh my gosh, that's a hard question. Of all time, I'm going to say Sue Bird just because I don't think necessarily the best player is always somebody who's scoring the most, but I think in a way is leadership and like making her team be successful. So I'm gonna say Sue Bird. I'm gonna go Diana Taurasi for that one. Why? She's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she good though? She's just lethal. Like this girl, she's just cooking people at 40. Like that's <laughs> what my goal is. Like that's crazy. Would you say that's a player you look up to? Yeah. Easily. Her and Sue Bird, though. Yeah. They're like a dynamic duo. Yeah. 
Okay. okay. Um, horse or knockout? Horse. Yeah. You want horse? We play horse all the time. <laughs> <laughs> horse or pig? Yeah, I like horse. What would you be me at? Like anything in basketball, what's one thing that like, you know you got me down? One on one. Okay. I'm going to say one thing I would beat you at in the post. Yeah. Anything that has to do with strength. <laughs> <laughs> what's one thing that I would beat you at? Like you think you would that I could kill you at? I anything. Not, it doesn't have to be in like a basketball game. It could be like in practice or something. Uh, oh, wait, are we talking about basketball? Are we not just basketball? Or like I mean, you, life? you do anything you want. I would say, like, anything artistic. Artistic? Yeah. Okay. One thing I think you would beat me at, if we were lawyers, you would win. <laughs> she likes to argue. <laughs> I don't like to argue. I just like to make a case. Yeah, that's what you're good at making a case. Best class you've taken so far? I'm actually in it right now. I'm in a negotiation class and it's once a week on Zoom and we sit there, we have like a topic and we have to pick a, or we're, we have a side chosen for us and we have to literally negotiate until we get to a deal. So it's actually kind of cool and it's fun. I feel, you know, I feel good at arguing now. Yes, I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I have one more question for you. What's the best sound in basketball? The most satisfying sound? Our fans. Yeah? Yeah, or, or, or gonna sorry, steal my answer. Or a swish, like when it yep. clicks off the back of that room. That's gonna be mine. Yeah. Especially when you're watching a game, they have the mic behind the back. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it. whoosh. That's what you hear on Nate shot all the time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs>